In the distant lands of the vast and enchanted forests, there was a village nestled amidst the vibrant colors and magical ambience. In this village, the people lived harmoniously, surrounded by the beauty of nature. Every day, the children embarked on new adventures, exploring the mysteries of the natural world. In this village lived a little girl named Ella. With her large eyes and ever-present joy, she was a beacon of light. Each day, she would frolic around the village, reveling in the wonders that nature offered. However, Ella's greatest dream was to dance in the moonlight under the sky. One day, Ella set out towards the forest that bordered their village. The mysterious and enchanting atmosphere of the forest always intrigued her. But this time, her adventure held a special purpose. She hoped to witness a daisy dancing in the moonlight along the path, she was accompanied by the chirping of birds and the rustling of leaves. Finally, she arrived at the forest and stood in awe. In the heart of the forest, a large, shimmering moon hung in the sky. And there it was, just as Ella had imagined, a daisy dancing in the moonlight. The daisy, adorned with delicate petals, shimmered in the moonlight as it swayed gracefully in the breeze. Entranced, Ella watched the flowers dance. She lost track of time, completely absorbed in the magical scene before her. Suddenly, the daisy leaned towards Ella and spoke softly. Hello, Ella. I am here because of your beautiful dream. Dancing in the moonlight is a desire that every flower harbors but only with the power of your heart and kindness can you achieve it. Ella looked at the daisy in astonishment. She had never heard of a flower that could speak. But this only fueled her imagination and curiosity. How can I do it? She asked eagerly. The daisy smiled and continued, First, you must find the deepest feelings of love and kindness within your heart. Then, you must feel the beauty that surrounds you in nature. Only then can you dance in the moonlight. Ella listened attentively to the daisy's words. Then, she made a decision to embark on a journey into the depths of her heart. She found the feelings of love and kindness within her and began to embrace the beauty of nature around her. The melodies of the birds, the dance of the wind, the serenity of the trees. They all empowered her. After a while, Ella found herself dancing alongside the daisy. In the moonlight, synchronized with the rhythm of nature, they danced together. With each step, Ella felt lighter, freer. Her heart was filled with love and kindness. As the night progressed, Ella and the daisy grew weary. But their hearts were still filled with joy and happiness. Ella thanked the daisy and bid it farewell. On her way back home, she smiled gratefully, reminiscing about the magical moment she had experienced. The next morning, Ella shared her adventure of dancing with the daisy with the villagers. They listened to her story with great interest. From that day on, Ella's dream became not just a tale, but a real experience. Every night, as she drifted off to sleep, she would remember the daisy dancing in the moonlight. Feeling content and happy, Ella's adventures became even more colorful and exciting after the enchanted night she danced with the daisy under the moonlight. Now, Ella couldn't wait to embark on a new adventure every day. As she left her village, she wondered what she would encounter next, eagerly setting out to explore the mysteries of nature. One day, Ella stumbled upon a mysterious cave deep in the forest. As she stepped into the cave, she was mesmerized by what she saw. 
The walls of the cave were covered with thousands of colorful crystal stones. The reflections of light cast rainbow hues in every corner. Ella marveled at her surroundings, and as she ventured deeper into the cave, she noticed a glimmer in the farthest corner. Slowly approaching, she discovered the source of the glimmer, a baby dragon. The little dragon, delicate and adorned with feathers, looked at Ella with curiosity. Ella approached and began to converse with the baby dragon. The dragon introduced itself as Sparkle. Sparkle explained that it lived alone in the cave and had never explored the outside world. Ella decided to show Sparkle the wonders of the outside world. Together, they emerged from the cave and began to wander through the forest. Sparkle marveled at the beauty of nature, experiencing everything for the first time. The songs of birds, the scent of flowers, the lush greenery of the trees. Everything was new and exciting to Sparkle. However, one day, a danger emerged in the forest. A massive pack of wolves was approaching the area where Ella's village was located. Ella immediately sprang into action to keep Sparkle safe. Together, they hurried towards their village. Upon reaching the village, they found the villagers in fear. But Ella and Sparkle wasted no time in offering their help. Ella proposed a plan to stop the pack of wolves, and Sparkle declared its readiness to assist. Together, they began to set traps around the village. Sparkle, with its massive wings, kept watch from above, alerting them to the approach of the wolf pack. While Ella set traps, the villagers joined in to help. When the wolf pack arrived, the villagers and Ella activated the traps they had prepared. Sparkle put on a dazzling aerial display, bewildering the wolves and driving them away. The wolves were ensnared by the traps set by the villagers and were forced to retreat. The villagers expressed their gratitude to Ella and Sparkle. Thanks to them, the village remained safe. Ella and Sparkle prepared to bid farewell to their village. However, the villagers offered them a proposition, stay here and live with us. Ella and Sparkle joyfully accepted the offer. They now had a new family and new adventures to share together. And so, Ella and Sparkle lived happily ever after, growing together, embarking on adventures together, and facing the challenges of life together. Would you please like the video and subscribe to my channel?